Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Microplastics are tiny plastic particles, less than five millimeters in size, that arise from various sources and are prevalent in our environment, making it increasingly important to explore their effects on human health. Understanding the sources, distribution, and potential health impacts of microplastics is vital for addressing this growing concern. One significant contributor to microplastics is the fragmentation of larger plastic waste. Items such as bottles, bags, and packaging materials degrade into smaller pieces over time due to environmental factors like ultraviolet, UV radiation from sunlight, and mechanical forces from wind and water action. This process is exacerbated by the lack of proper waste management and recycling, leading to increased plastic pollution in the environment. In addition to fragmentation, microbads used in personal care products are another source of microplastics. These tiny beads are often found in exfoliating scrubs, toothpaste, and cosmetics. When these products are washed down the drain, the microbads enter water systems, contributing to the overall microplastic pollution. Synthetic textiles also play a significant role in microplastic pollution. During washing, garments made from polyester, nylon, and other synthetic materials shed microfibers which are too small to be filtered out by wastewater treatment plants. As a result, these microfibers can be transported to rivers and oceans, adding to the growing concern of microplastic accumulation in aquatic environments. Moreover, industrial processes, such as the production and transportation of plastic materials, can release microplastic pellets into the environment. These pellets, known as nurdles, are the raw material for manufacturing plastic products and can escape into the environment during handling and transportation. Microplastics are distributed widely across various environments, including marine, freshwater, and even terrestrial ecosystems. Studies have shown that they are present in oceans, where they can accumulate in gyres, areas of the ocean where currents converge, creating what are commonly referred to as garbage patches. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is one of the most well-known examples, where concentrations of microplastics are alarmingly high, impacting marine life and ecosystems. Recent research indicates that microplastics are not limited to water bodies. They have been detected in soil, air, and even in human tissues. For instance, studies have found microplastics in human lungs, placentas, and digestive systems, raising serious concerns about their potential health effects. The ability of microplastics to travel through the air as airborne particles also poses a new avenue for exposure, as they can be inhaled and enter the respiratory system. The potential health impacts of microplastics are still being studied, but emerging evidence suggests several areas of concern. One significant issue is the chemical additives found in plastics, which can leach into the body. Many plastics contain harmful substances, such as bisphenol A, BPA, and phthalates, which are known endocrine disruptors. These chemicals can interfere with hormonal systems and have been linked to various health issues, including reproductive problems, developmental disorders, and metabolic conditions. In addition to chemical exposure, there is concern about the physical presence of microplastics in the human body. Their small size allows them to penetrate cells and tissues, potentially causing inflammation and cellular damage. Some studies have suggested a link between microplastic exposure and conditions such as respiratory problems, cardiovascular diseases, and even cancer. For example, inhaling microplastics may lead to respiratory inflammation and compromised lung function, while ingestion through food and water could affect digestive health. Furthermore, Microplastics may act as carriers for other harmful substances in the environment. They can absorb toxic chemicals from the surrounding water, which can then be released into the body upon ingestion. This raises additional concerns about the cumulative effects of microplastics, 
and their associated toxins on human health. In conclusion, microplastics are a pervasive environmental issue stemming from various sources and are distributed across many ecosystems, including human bodies. The potential health impacts of microplastics warrant further investigation, as they may pose significant risks due to chemical exposure and physical presence. As awareness of this issue grows, it is essential for individuals and policymakers to take action to reduce plastic waste, promote sustainable alternatives, and protect human health. We must adopt comprehensive strategies, including improving waste management systems, encouraging the use of biodegradable materials, and enhancing public awareness of the issue to mitigate the impact of microplastics on our health and environment. One, which of the following best describes the primary mechanism through which microplastics enter aquatic ecosystems? Two, in the context of microplastic pollution, what role do gyres play in the distribution of these particles? Three, what is a significant concern regarding the chemical additives found in microplastics? Four, according to the lecture, what emerging evidence suggests about the physical presence of microplastics in the human body? Five, in light of the potential health impacts mentioned, which of the following statements best reflects the current understanding of microplastics in relation to human health? Six, what proactive measures does the lecture suggest individuals and policymakers should consider regarding microplastic pollution?